when we define the strategy in the previous, uh, previous session here, let's have a look at what are the strategic variables that a series of correlated decisions, tactics based on available information in a strategic thought process gives us a desired outcome, as was covered before. Now, there are variables that we play with within this strategic thought process. For the purpose of our discussion here, let's do a dichotomy of two main definitions of these variables that is used extensively in physical sciences and indeed in business. The variables that we deal with within our strategic thought process can be broadly categorized in two types. Flow variables, stock variables. Now that's a very common and highly used methodology, as I said, in many different fields. Let's say, by way of example, in the business context, we've got cash flow coming in, cash flow going out. We've got some cash come from sales and expenditure, capital expenditure, uh, operational expenditure going out. Or, more into the physical uh, analogy, we've got a bathtub that the water is coming through a tap and there is a drain hole and water is draining out. Now, water is water. However, in the first example, there's flow in, flow out. Over a period of time, if there is more flow coming in than what is draining out, there will be a height of water, amount of water in the bathtub, because you're getting more than it's going out. That's a stock variable. Flow variable, stock variable. Stock variable can be created over a period of time as a result of the differential flow. So the mathematicians do a differential equations and say the differential flow integrated over a period of time becomes the stock value or height of the water in the bathtub or amount of cash that has been accumulated in the business. Alternatively, you can say the first derivative of the stock variable in our example, the height of water in the bathtub or amount of cash in the bank, the first derivative of it with respect to time is the cash, is the flow, the flow rate. So important thing is to first consider that we've got flow variables. Over a period of time, based on the differential nature of flow in, flow out, you might get the stock variable up and down. Now this applies to a series of different um, aspects in our, in our decision makings. And later on in the session this afternoon, we'll look at the business applications of this in terms of processes, procedures, building capacity, competitive advantage, operational efficiency. That's for later uh, this afternoon or session tomorrow morning. But current, let's just give some example in this session of the real life examples of these flow and the stock variables. Let's consider one thing, for instance, information. Information is a commodity. It's a flow variable. We have, through various me means of internet and telecommunication, in fact, at this stage, access to a great deal of information, infinite amount of information. Knowledge, the ability to synthesize and analyze that information, it's a stock variable. It can only be gained after a period of time of dealing with information to become knowledgeable. Knowledge has the characteristics of a stock variable. It has what's called, in literature, diseconomies of time compression. What does that mean? It means that you can't do it too fast. Faster you go, harder it gets. You can't say, I want to do an MBA course, or I want a degree course, and I'll become knowledgeable in five days. You can do it faster with flow. You can have more and more information. It doesn't have those characteristics. We have a lot of activities in our lives. We go out to work in social context, in family context, activities. It flows. After a period of time, these activities culminate into a stock variable called experience. You cannot say, I want to have experience fast, because faster you go, example that I said before, this economies of time compression. You must have activities to accumulate experience. One must have information to acquire knowledge. We need to have flow variables, iterating, which we'll come back to in context of game theory in one of in session, the next session. We need to have flow variables, iterate them within a certain types of games to create 
stock variables. One without the other makes no sense. Efficiency, flow variables. Effectiveness, stock variable. Therefore, we need to then, having come to terms with this dichotomy of information, which is quite commonly used in literature by many scholars and, and practitioners, and what we're going to do is say, OK, what will happen in the business and how, what happens when these variables are played within certain games in the game theoretic uh, context? But one of the important things is to uh, appreciate the concept that without one, the other one is useless. I'll give a quick example in business. Management. Management about doing the thing right. Leadership, doing the right thing. So management, efficiency, flow variable, processes, procedures. After a while, you create competitive advantage, which is a stock variable in the form of a brand name, lower transaction costs, low cost production. The difference between the recognition of these two types of variables within a strategy is an essential part of applying a good business strategic uh, thought process, which we'll cover later today.